Hello and welcome to Bloodshed Restorations. I'm Alex and today we'll be on the Suzuki Carry Project Lemon. First this though. I'm just looking into um, another issue that I've had with the van and that is that there's a whistling noise. It started when it was on full choke and eventually went away but it's a lot more consistent now. Uh, it's also had an issue on a couple of occasions with idling very very badly it could also be something to do with uh, air leak something along the lines of that i don't think it's an overfueling problem but we shall uh, we shall wait and see it's not quite the cause of the rough running but there's, there's definitely a, a valve cover leak it's um not looking too pleasant going to be doing a bit of a basic oil and filter change so I'll crack on with that That's the drain bolt torqued up to 55 newton meters. There we go. And the torque setting on this one is slightly less at 50. There we go. The oil drain plug is just at the bottom of the sump below the driver's side. And the oil filter pretty much about in the middle. drain bolts are fitted with a washer. Bin that, get a new one order from Suzuki or wherever, 69p. That'll help it seal a bit better. That's the new drain bolts fitted with its new washer and this torque setting is 35. We're fitting a new canister style oil filter. Just get a bit of clean oil, run it around the run it around the seal. Nobody wants to go in dry, do they? Uh, you can fill this up with oil, but to be honest, I rarely bother. Um, all it needs to do is go on hand tight, and then probably about quarter or half a turn after that. Obviously, always go by what the manual says. Uh, I think the one. That was on it had been over tightened so i'll go and get that done top tip of the day if like me you uh, realize that you haven't got a funnel to put the oil into the engine with because it's uh, at a bit of a funny angle an old bottle any old bottle will do i'll get rid of the 
advertising first of all, so nobody tries to sue me. There we go, one funnel. Obviously, make sure it's been rinsed out and make sure it's been thoroughly dried before you put any oil into the engine with it. So whilst the oil's settling into the engine, obviously dipstick's down here and I can be checking that to make sure I've got the correct level. Um, but next thing will be the air filter. And that's just simply held on with four clips and out it pops. And in all honesty, it's not looking too bad. Obviously, it is quite dirty. Should be that colour all the way through. As you can see, old, new. Definitely been doing its job. Probably the easiest part of the service. Should just be able to see that's almost just up to the bottom level so we'll go a little bit more i hope you found that useful it is a basic service though that is all it is um, i've still got the thermostat to do at some point with a coolant change uh, i haven't got any coolant at this moment in time uh, i've spent most of my money on the service items i will put a list of how much they cost they are all genuine suzuki parts Um, and I've also got the valve cover rubber seal, which is leaking as well. That again will be done on a separate occasion. Shouldn't be too massive a job. Um, only word I would add to all this is recycle your oil as well. I recycle mine into a jerry can. And unlike a lot of people used to, I don't paint it on the shed or anything like that. I take it down to the local waste depot and put it in the correct recycling point. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.